sorry. I don't know why the last time they didn't have, we didn't have this problem. We can go straight to two hours. And uh, today, probably because you weren't recording last time, I was just guessing. Um, I don't think related to reporting. Maybe the first time they allow us, basically they try to, you know, let you taste the, the sweet and the next time you really needed to pay. <laughs> oh, we lost someone. Okay. So this is like wake up call, basically check who is really watching or not. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you check. <laughs> Not really pay attention, then <coughs> Nick Chen. <coughs> then really knows you are not watching really. You are Kai Xiao Char. Um, we lost, we lost who? Uh, how about us, Zhang Nick. I think we, we still have uh, Ali Zhangjie. No doubt. Ali are you able to get on? Oh, okay. She is. She is. Okay, I think we are good to go. Um, I think that's, um, oh, Chris is not on yet. Waiting for Chris. Also, can somebody tax Chris? Uh, are you are you getting on? Oh wait, yeah, because I thought you were sending another link because it disconnected. Yeah, same same link. Same yeah. Link. yeah, same link. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, so Grace is on.
So Chris, you're on, right? So everybody's on. Okay, good. So let's go. Um, now, so, so now uh, basically, um, So now the question is from the eclipse, uh, lunar eclipse, uh, how we could, uh, do, do, uh, you know, uh, able to get the idea what's the relationship between the size of the earth and the size of the moon. And um, so this is a basically, um, um, there's a, you know, of course, and uh, when, when the moon go into, start to move into the shadow, and uh, we can roughly count how many, how long it get, you know. So, so basically, before it does, before it in, uh, enter the shadow, and we know roughly the size. And when the move move one foot, a foot a complete into one distance, the second distance, how long it get out. So that that is roughly, roughly, and the people estimate roughly two point five times. So basically, from before the moon, move, basically, once the moon move in, everything from the edge, the last edge move in, be, um, until they come out, is roughly three, three of the moon size of the shadow is. Got it? It's roughly, actually 2.5, 2, 2 2.5 times, roughly, and uh, close to three. And, um, and uh, however, um, how do we know the shadow is the same size as the Earth? If the, uh, if the shadow is the same size as Earth size, then we know that you know, our Earth diameter is the, you know, three times of the moon diameter, right? Uh, based on this uh, eclipse and how long the moon go into eclipse and uh, relatively speaking. And um, so, um, so actually the shadow is not the exact size of Earth, um, but how we, how, we, how we get the idea so, so, so what if these smart people, these smart people actually is, they also look at the, the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse basically is when moon moving to other, moving in this picture, moving to the, moving to the somewhere here in my cursor place. So basically when, when moon moving to roughly between Earth and the sun, and able to block sunlight and, um, when observe the sun clips, especially full sun clips, full sun clips, and, and what we realize, there are two, inform, two pieces of information we know. The first information we know that, have you ever observed a sun clips before? So, um, so basically, when you observe the sun clips, you find out the moon could completely, moon could exactly block sun. No, not too much, not too little. So which really means that from Earth's surface, we see the moon size roughly same as the size of sun in the sky, right? Because that is why the moon is able to block the sun not to leave leave out too much. Not uh, you know too big, uh, over covered too much. So it's roughly same size. So um, so that that is another piece of information later we are use on very very important right. So basically from Earth we see the moon. Of course moon distance from sun we don't know yet right. What's the difference between moon is closer and the sun is further whatever. But uh, visually we see the angle right. We so. The, we, this called the this called the uh, the you know the um, uh, so basically the in the in the sky the the visible angle difference. So basically, um, so we, we from our eye we look out. There's a, there's a corn, and uh, so the so moon moon the whole moon corn and the sun corn they have the same same angle. Uh, same angle, angle distribution, same angle width, okay? So that is a piece of very important information. Later on, we will, we will, we will use other information. Another piece of information is, and uh, when, the, uh, when the moon blocked the sun for the lunar eclipse, 
on the Earth, we only have a very narrow, small area able to see the full moon clips. If you're outside this narrow strip, and then you are you you are you won't be able to see that. So so that basically tell you that tell you that the we so that's basically we know the size of the we know or know the size of the this shadow cone. So because we know the size of shadow cone, so we we then know that actually when we estimate so the shadow of the Earth on the Moon is 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 uh, is actually is um, missed by Earth size by roughly one Moon size. It's a little bit hard to understand, and you you have to draw it. So you have to draw it. Um, so you have to draw it in order to understand this part. But um, um, so the angular size, uh, we, we just said angular size of moon and the sun is the same to us. Even though they may not, they may, they may, they may in real size, they may hugely different, but uh, because of distant difference, that's why the angular, angular size is still same. It uh, just happened to be, I don't know, the God designed that way. The moon's angular size is just roughly same as angular size of sun by what ha but happened to be that way. And uh, by looking at the moon clips and calculate the shadow size compared to moon size, I said it's roughly come out as between 2.5 and three times of the moon size. Uh, uh, you know, the shadow size is uh, you know, three times, about 2.5, three times the moon size. And, uh, and consider just that little bit of corn angle issue and we have to add another one. So basically, eventually leading to conclusion by a simple, you know, geometry. And uh, and uh, we we get the idea that moon size is about one third, or actually one one point three point five percent. You know, one over three point five percent of Earth size. Got it. So that that is uh, here is basically. Um, uh, you know, basically a conclusion roughly here. So we, 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 um, by this guy, 200 BC, and we know the Earth's diameter is about 60 divided by 7.5, 7.2, 800 kilometer. Okay. Okay. And then, so that came out, that came out to be, so that, that is, um, that came out to be, uh, 12, uh, you know, that is our Earth's diameter. Got it? Okay. Understand? So basically, six, 360 divided by 7.2 or 7.5 times 800, that is the circumference, divided by 3.14, divided by pi equals uh, the diameter. Earth's diameter, that's about 12. Uh, 13,000 kilometer. That is we last time talk about. Okay, so that that one, this guy, are able to achieve roughly 200 BC. Okay, and now moon size is roughly three times, four times smaller than Earth's diameter. So the moon moon diameter, the estimate is based on the moon eclipse, is about uh, three 3,500 kilometer. Got it. So now we know the Earth's diameter, moon diameter, based on the observation of the sky. Okay. And uh, now, now once we know the we know the moon diameter, then the rest become relatively easier. The reason is. The reason. Is, have you ever done this? Uh, you know, in the middle school, you have. Uh, have you ever um, tried to say measure the measure the size of the sun by using a pinhole? Basically, you put a pinhole and uh, try to form an imaging of sun on the on on the paper. Oh, yeah, you do it on the floor, right? Right, and then you measure the distance of the pinhole to the image, and then measure that image sun sun size. Then knowing the distance Earth to sun, they, you can you can conclude the sun sun distance the sun what sun diameter. Is it like what? Xiao Kong, what? Uh, 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 Xiao Kong Cheng Xiang. 
Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's uh, imaging by a pinhole. So, so that okay. actually that is yeah. a experiments of like the shadows of the sun under tree shadows. It's not like the shape of the like the shape of the sort of holes in in between the leaves. It's actually the shape of the sun because right. Yeah, when, like the, the, when the when the yeah, yeah when the pinhole is really small, you form an image. So that's why you see when the, there's the sun clips, you see the shadow on the those pinhole shadow on the ground is all is also eclipsed uh, sun, you know, the round. Okay, no the so so that's called the Xiao Kong Cheng Xia. But anyway, here is talking about here's why I'm using the different a little bit different principle is um okay, uh, you can do this way. You hold um uh, do you, um, anybody roughly know the diameter of a quarter, US quarter? 25 cents. Any idea? How 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 large diameter of a US quarter? Roughly. Two centimeters, perhaps. Yeah, and actually one inch roughly. So it's 2.5 centimeter. Okay, one inch, roughly one inch. Okay. So if you're holding uh, if you're holding a one inch uh, US quarter, and uh, in the nighttime there's a moon on the in the, on, on the sky. Okay, you're holding that one. You try to moving away from UI until a distance. You see that you can use the corn to block the moon completely, like shadow the moon. And uh, no to be no bigger, no smaller. So in that case, it's just like in the in the sky during the sun clips, and the, the Earth is you know sun a moon is able to block sun. Same thing. You use a quarter to block the block because it's dangerous to do this experiment with the sun, but it, it's easy to do it with uh, with the moon. And uh, so you can block it, and then you measure the how far this um, this when this happens, how far the quarter from your eye. You can give an experiment that way. Actually, eventual to be, you need a one one. So you need to move the you need to move the quarter away about 108 times of the diameter. So it's basically 108 inches away from us, your eye. About 100 inches from your eye, you are roughly able to use a quarter to completely block the moon. Which means the angular size of this core at this distance is the same as angular size of the moon and also same as angular size of earth uh, sun because sun angular size is same as the uh, angular size of of moon so it's 108 to 1 relationship which really means that really means that moon size divided moon distance and should be each same as this one inch divided by 108 inch so really means that moon distance to us is about 108 times of s diameter so that last leading to our moon earth distance is about 108 times moon diameter is about a third 370 thousand kilometer this is based on angular diameter measurement Angular size measurement. Got it? Any question? Is that hard to understand? Let me see. Yeah. Is that hard to understand? Anyone has any question regarding to what I just said? Um, before I move on. So now the first we we get idea of the earth size. Now we get idea of the moon size. By earth size is by this uh, this uh, this uh, smart smartest guy with uh, looking at the two different place of the shadow of the, the stick. And the one without shadow, one with um, shadow with angle sine point two degree. So able to conclude that the earth earth diameter. And calculate Earth's uh, circumference and then Earth's diameter, and then from the eclipse we we know the sun, moon uh, moon diameter, and from this uh, 
angular size, and uh, that is 108 times to one. So basically for sun, it's the same thing. Sun, si sun's diameter is uh, 108, one over 108 at uh, the distance, because that helps to build the same, uh, same, um, same angular diameter. So this is like uh, you are doing a small, very small triangle, very small angle of triangle. And uh, the tangent of theta or sine theta is all same roughly. It's basically the, the opposite side divided by the distance, by, 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 by the, you know, um, um, so basically if you look at a really, really small, small angle tri triangle, the so sine theta of that angle or tangent theta of that angle is basically the opposite length divided by the adjacent, right? So that's, that is how you get this angular size. Angular size is theta, but when theta is really small, sine theta is equals theta. Tangent theta is equal theta when, because cosine theta is equal to one. But cosine zero degree is one. So cosine wherever small angle is one. Sine wherever small angle is that angle converted into, uh, you know, of course converted into radian. Okay, so basically sine one degree or sine 0 0.1 degree is equals to zero one or one degree converted into radian. Understand? So that is that is a uh, um, you know that is uh, basically the angular angle small angle measurement. So that is same thing. And when um, so basically, if you really uh, if you really measure Earth, uh, Moon, and the Sun, this angle, this um, this um, angle roughly is zero point five degree. Is less than one degree. So 0 0.54, I, I remember, 0 0.54 degree is a, is a very small angle, not, not very big. Even though you look at it, oh, I remember the moon is quite big in the, on the sky sometimes, in the sun, on the, but it's, the angle is only, only less than one degree. Okay. So it's basically one over 108. One divided by 108 is equals to sine theta. You can, you know, if you use a calculator, can you go, go to your calculator? Let's do a quick check. So if you go to calculator, one divided by 108 equals 0 0.009 something, and the inverse, and no matter you do a sine or cosine, is 0 0.53 degree. Or you can do, you can do, you can do um, um, inverse tangent, same thing, 0 0.53 degree. Can you look at, just, just check. So, so, so this is simple math, but it's a really use powerful math. And we, you, um, we use a lot, lots of time during our you know, physics of this way. So um, we, we learned a lot of very complicated math, but we never know how to use that actually, frankly. Got it? So this is a very simple thing, sign, sign tangent, uh, but uh, you know, when you really look at it, it's really helpful here. Okay. So it's a uh, one over 108 kind of special ratio in terms of this small angle that help, you know, both Earth, both moon and the sun fall into the same kind of uh, angular, spatial angle. Okay. And uh, now, now we, 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 so Earth, Moon, Sun, we already have size of two and the distance between two, right? And uh, we, we don't need, we only needed to know the size of Sun and the Earth, a distance from us, distance to the Sun, how to do that. So that is a tricky part. Of course, once we know one of them, if we know the sun's diameter, we already know the distance, time 108, because we know the spatial angle. If we know the distance, we also already know the sun diameter because we can divide by 108. So we only need a, only one thing left we don't know. It's basically all those, you know, those three subjects, three objects, 
and we there's two distance three size and uh, we already have already have two distance i mean two size one distance and a relationship for the rest of the two so if we know one of them then we know all the five parameters all the things earth moon sun all the size and the distance between them got it so how how do we know how do we know the sun's uh, sun size or distance so that become a little bit tricky another question to be tricky serious so here is basically also um you know 100 years you know 2000 years ago those smartest greek it's really smart and um, they realize when you know there's a moon phase right moon phase and what happens when we look at on into moon during one during one day of the each month and the moon just behave exactly half phase the whole whole moon is just showing half phase perfectly half circle so what does it really mean meaning that the sun is it's of course that decrease. yeah sun is shining to moon and we are looking at them we are looking at here if you can see my cursor it's the sun this is moon half face and we are here we are seeing a 90 degree between between earth and moon one line and the moon to sun so that two is perpendicular otherwise they, they want to show in they want to give you a perfect hemi circle is that very logical okay makes sense right and then so if that's case if we can measure the angle now between earth and the sun with earth to the moon then we can ca calculate the size of uh, the distance of the you know sun to us or sun to moon so that it was 2000 years ago another you know very smart greek person came out this uh, this way and uh, so he did try to measure this angle this time really really hard the reason is the reason is he measured is 87 degree to 2000 years ago so 87 degree so basically now you know because we already know earth moon uh, distance so basically tangent tangent it really means tangent that angle 87 degree should be 87 degree should be the moon or sun sun moon distance divided by sun uh, moon sun distance oh we can use cosine cosine 87 degree is uh, moon sun moon distance to sun earth distance ratio right so just a simple trick and however because we are using a tangent 85 or 85 or cosine 85 very small error leading to huge error because if 87 or 88 degrees there's huge difference i mean there's large difference so that's really hard to measure this large you know it's very relatively easy to measure small angle but a really large to measure close to 90 degree in this case uh, because um, you know small error leading to a big um, error here so he was able to measure 85 degree but 85 from 85 87 degree come out that the distance between sun and us is roughly 20 times of the uh, distance um, moon to us that is already great great understanding 20 times the real number is 400 times okay so he missed by 20 times another 20 times but he got the first 20 times so that is also huge that's 2000 years ago over 2000 years ago he can know can he can by based on this method saying oh you know what the sun is really further away from the moon okay so because their 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 spatial angle is um you know the is a same similar is a similar therefore therefore um, they know that sun is much bigger than Earth, than moon, right? So that because you know, so this is already huge, huge uh, understanding uh, towards this, and um, so 
So and uh, so um, it takes us takes human another thousand years until Galileo uh, invented the telescope, and uh, we come back to measure this angle again. So about 600, 1600, we are able able to measure this angle down to accurately, almost accurate down to 18, 89 some degree. Um, actually, it's the real number is 89.85 .9, degree, very, very close to 90 degree because the distance is so hugely different between those two. And uh, so, um, so um, that's leading to the sun to us distance about 150 million kilometers. So basically four, 40 times of the uh, distance to moon node 20 times. So um, by 1600 with telescope, they, they were able to prove that is um, 300 times. No, still not close to 400 times. Um, then later on, uh, you know, uh, we were able to get as 40, 400 times. So we, we were able to get more accurate measurement. Um, so this uh, and this is um, this is this guy actually is in 1639. So 1635, uh, this uh, this uh, wind windowing used a telescope able to measure that angle to pretty pretty precise. So able to get the size difference is 300 times. But getting to more accurate 400 times is by this guy called uh, Horrock in 1639. And he was using a Venus as a relatively, Venus, when Venus uh, pass through uh, between Earth and the Sun and Venus project an image on, uh, on Sun surface, he was using a little bit of geometry method and by making some observation, and uh, so he was able to de derive the right right size relationship, right size of the sun. And once we know the si size of sun, uh, we we know the, uh, we know the distance to sun. We know the size of sun because that's one hundred eight relationship. Okay. So so that that is uh, basically today. I give you a brief, uh, you know, brief, uh, 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 you know, introduction about this Earth, Moon, uh, Sun size, distance, how human in the past 2,500 years, how they, they do this kind of rough, rough estimate. And of course, once we have the Newton law and the we established the Newton law uh, in 1650 and 1670, then the lots of things become much easier. Now we can do a very precise calculate. But before that, in the, uh, many of those numbers is based on this kind of uh, estimate of uh, really rough estimate of judgment. Okay, and uh, so I, I hope you you get you get this um, this idea. Okay, so that is um, uh, uh, you know the part of today's uh, you know. I hope you go back to uh, maybe you can Google it or you can whatever to to uh, read to go through this process uh, yourself. Okay, how I can calculate uh, estimate size of Earth, Moon, and then distance, and then and uh, so. Doing, you know, do do yourself, okay? Don't so, so. This kind of lesson doesn't make good if you just listen, okay? You have to use a pen, pencil, and to put on paper, go through yourself. You are learn loud. I guarantee you, you learn loud by doing yourself. If you don't, you just listen. Oh, everything, everything makes sense, but it's not yours. And uh, you know, and tomorrow people ask you, how how do we know? Oh, you know, you cannot tell the story uh, you, because you never really master it, okay? So you have to do it yourself, and um, I did it myself, and, um, okay? And, um, okay, so that is uh, pretty much for today uh, because I, we have another 40 minutes uh, already there, and uh, we still have five, five more minutes to go. And I like you to, um, so next time I'm going to talk a little bit, um, uh, I will go back. Uh, I, I, I'm going back and forth because I like to give you some of the history story of the science. And uh, meanwhile, I need a. Uh, uh, I will go back to teach you and um, to go through a little bit of math because we need the math before we can move a lot more further. Uh, I have a lot more. I try to show you very interesting uh, scientific stuff calculations, but you need a little bit more uh, math foundation. 
So next time I want to uh, give you, uh, you know, like a, a lecture, quickly go over uh, of uh, calculus foundations, okay? And um, uh, if you want to preview this, I actually already send you, in the PDF I send you, there's several page of the, several page of the, uh, of re regarding to calculus foundation. Um, and the, you, if you would like, you can preview. If not, you just sit in next time. But I, I really want you to learn. Uh, it's you. You only need a, like one or two hours to grasp grasp uh, the a major part of uh, calculus, and then we can use that. Uh, you can learn while we are using that, using that uh, in the real some of uh, and in calculation to really help you to understand better how we how the math relate to the to the to the physics, how the math relate to the to the daily life. For example. I give you, uh, there I give a very good example how you, so we see the volume of sphere is uh, four over three pi r cubic. So why is that? And we know the surface of the sphere is uh, four pi r square. So why is it four? So this all is very simple once you have this little bit calculus knowledge. So I will use that one as a way to teach you how to use calculus. And then later on, we will move on to some, understand some more physics stuff and other scientific stuff, okay. Is that okay? So any, any quick feedback before we, we end up here? So anyone saying this is, this is too boring or this is, uh, you know, is uh, hard to understand, hard to follow and uh, you, you like speak up now or you, you can talk to me separately. I like to get your feedback. So far, everything is pretty easy, I think. Um, but uh, but if you have difficult to understand, you need to let me know because we are going to move into calculus a little bit. Uh, it's, a little bit uh, it's harder to understand a little bit. Actually, I don't think it's really that hard. And then we move on to lots of good example to use calculus to do some of the calculation before we moving back to talking about uh, universe and life again. And because uh, many of those uh, relate to, to also to electromagnetic wave and the radiations, uh, you know, like face red shift and how we, can, how we can know the star size and the distance from us and all those very interesting stuff. But uh, we need a, uh, some of the foundation, some of the, you know, how to use number to do some simple calculation mathematically, or physically or scientifically, got it? Okay, so um, feel free to talk to me and, um, and so, um, you know, you have any question or if you don't understand anything, uh, let me know. I can, uh, we can, we can talk one by one. Okay. Uh, welcome to do so. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.